guys so first off I want to say I'm in my like pajamas um, no I don't drink Bacardi <laughs> it's just an old t-shirt and it's like really comfortable so I wear it to bed but um, yeah that's why my hair is kind of crazy I still have my makeup on but it's kind of coming off and I just wanted to jump on here and tell you guys what was going on so last time we talked I basically didn't know if the doctor was gonna put me on birth control for like a couple weeks like three weeks and then do like get on with our IUI schedule or if he was not well basically I had to go in for an ultrasound to see and everything went good with the ultrasound and I didn't have to be put on birth control so that was good um, and then basically um, that was day three of my cycle I am currently on day 14 and did my IUI today so yay um, it was kind of crazy though the IUI was just it's like the craziest IUI I've ever had first off um, like I get there the sperm count was good everything was good um, you know how they do the they perform the IUI if you guys don't know um, they basically what they do is they kind of do it like you know how you have like a pap smear they put like the speculum in and open you up and all that good lovely fun stuff um, but anyways like they try to find like your cervix because the catheter goes through the cervix um, into the uterus and um, you know that's how you get the sperm there so basically they could not find my cervix <laughs> long story short she could not find my cervix it was crazy she's like oh you're making a joke you know your cervix is hiding sometimes this happens and blah 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 and she had to bring in a ultrasound technician um, and she thought she would be able to like kind of like guide her in like through a ultrasound um, to see where my cervix was but they still couldn't find it it was just insane like it was a 30 they were trying to find it for 30 minutes like they had me like not to be TMI but they had me like open with the speculum like it was just really painful and not to mention they were pushing like on my bladder because it was like a ultrasound over your stomach you know so they were pushing like on my c-section scar like where my bladder is kind of like to try to like get a picture of where it was and yeah it was really intense but I got through it and they finally found it um, I don't know the correct term but my cervix is really low and it's like I don't know I want to say like interior like it's more towards I know it's gonna sound weird but like more towards like my like butt area um, and then my uterus is also like interior as well um, there's another word for it but yeah I don't know but it was crazy so that was a little intense for me a little insane I've never experienced anything like that before um, but then you know they found the cervix finally and they did the IUI and then after that everything went well a um, little bit of cramping a little bit of back pain in my lower back um, she said watch for spotting because they were you know obviously poking around for a longer period of time than normal but I had no spotting so hopefully that stays that way and hopefully um, it worked I really hope so but I will update you guys um, Brayden is awake now and I have to go put him back to bed so I will update you guys soon and I'll talk to you later